Do you want to learn quantum computing? With the rise of cloud quantum computing systems, it means that you can connect to a chip anywhere in the world. But how do you learn about quantum computing without going back to college and getting a PhD? Luckily, there's many excellent courses online about quantum computing. I'm going to cover some of the top rated quantum computing courses that I found from edX, Coursera, and professional certificate programs. These range from short courses all the way to long courses that'll actually get you credit towards a master's degree. And if you don't feel fully ready to take these courses because you want more background in quantum mechanics or linear algebra, I'll cover some of those courses at the end of the video. And of course, I'll link everything I talk about below. One of the best introductory short courses I found for everyone is called The Quantum Internet and Quantum Computers, How Will They Change the World on edX from Delft. It's six weeks long and it'll take you about two to three hours per week. What I really like about this course is that it's accessible to everyone with no technical background necessary. It mostly covers the impact of quantum computing and quantum telecommunication and talks about the applications. For example, chemistry, machine learning, and security places where quantum computers can have a huge role. So this course is free to see the content, but you have to pay for a verified certificate. By the way, the big difference between the free track and the paid track is that the paid track, you can access the graded assessments and you also get a certificate at the end. You will not earn a certificate at the end if you're on the free track, but you can access all the lectures. Now you can always try the course before you pay. So start on the free track and then later you can add the verified certificate. And this is true for almost all the courses on the edX platform. There's another introductory course on quantum computing from Berkeley, also on edX. It's 10 weeks long and it'll take you five to 12 hours per week. So kind of like a quarter long course at Berkeley. This course really focuses on quantum gates, circuits, and actually implementing quantum algorithms. The professor also holds office hours when there's a session running so you can get help from them and the TAs on Zoom. If you've got the quantum computing bug and wanna go even deeper, you can check out the professional certificate on edX from Delft and QTech. QTech is a quantum computing research center with a lot of amazing professors and researchers dedicated to studying and teaching quantum phenomena. There are two courses in this certificate program. Number one is the hardware of a quantum computer, and the second is architecture algorithms and protocols of a quantum computer and quantum internet. Both courses ask you to commit six to eight hours per week for six weeks each, so that's about three months of work to complete the professional certificate. And the cool thing about edX courses is that you can do the courses separately and then stack them together later. So if you're not sure if you wanna to commit to a whole certificate now, take one course, Course, then take a break and finish the other one later. And they're self-paced, so you can take as long as you need to finish them. What really stands out to me about this certificate is the focus on hardware. Many quantum computing textbooks cover it only slightly. This first course dives into the implementation of four different types of qubits. Silicon spin qubits, diamond NV center qubits, superconducting qubits, and topological qubits. Now, MIT has released their own professional certificate program on their own MIT X platform. This is definitely one of the pricier programs on this list. The first certificate is called Quantum Computing Fundamentals. There are two courses, four weeks each, that take four to six hours per week. There's also a Quantum Computing Realities program. It's two additional courses, four weeks per course, and three to five hours of work per week. These courses include, number one, Introduction to Quantum Computing. Number two, Quantum Computing Algorithms for Cybersecurity, Chemistry, and Optimization. Three, Practical Realities of Quantum Computation and Quantum Communication. Number four, Requirements for Large-Scale Universal Quantum Computation. I've actually completed both of these programs. You can see my certificate here, but the disclaimer that I have here is I did not pay for these courses myself. Since I'm already in the field, I can't tell you if this program will help you find a job in quantum computing. I think that's one of the most important parts for you to evaluate before taking this program, or you can see if your work will sponsor you to take it. If your goal is to get a job in the quantum field, talk to people who have taken this professional certificate and ask them what their experience job hunting was like. Then make the decision if you wanna spend that money. What I did find really cool and interesting about this certificate were the assignments. There are of course coding exercises using IBM's quantum experience and the regular quizzes, but they also ask you to write essays, which make you truly understand the value of quantum computing and the commercialization. For example, one assignment asks you to compare different qubit modalities and write about which one you think will be the first to get a functional quantum computer. Another essay asks you to research and write about different countries' strategies for building quantum networks. This is something I really haven't seen in any other course. Because this program is pricey, unfortunately, there's not really any auditing for free. There's definitely a mix in the production quality of videos. Some short videos are produced specifically for this course, but there's also videos from the back of an MIT classroom. And of course, these courses are taught by some of the top quantum professors in the world, including Isaac Chung, Peter Shore, 
and William Oliver. While there's not really professor interaction in this course, this course is not self-paced, so you have to make sure you can commit to the schedule. I was doing these courses while I was traveling and at conferences, but I planned ahead and made sure I set aside that time. To me, this program felt best for highly technical strategic managers, someone who is a leader and needs a business understanding of quantum computing technology, but also a deep technical understanding. If you want to take a trial run and see how these courses are structured, there's also an MIT edX course by some of the same instructors who teach the professional certificate program. Now, Purdue has also released a micro master's course on edX. I've not taken this myself, but I thought I'd tell you about it and link it down below in case you wanted to explore it. It's also a bit expensive with the courses costing over $4,700, but it does give you credit towards a master's degree. So if you're considering going back to school and getting a degree, this MicroMasters program lets you test out the courses and get some credits before committing to the full master's degree. It's also a fairly deep program. It has five courses and they'll take about nine months, which is kind of the equivalent of two semester long courses at university. This program felt best to me for someone that already has some background in quantum mechanics and linear algebra. So if you don't, I'll talk about some other courses you can take to get that quantum mechanics background towards the end of the video. And remember, you can always audit the courses for free. You don't have to commit immediately and pay, just take the course and see what the content is like and if you feel prepared. There's also a few courses targeted at non-English learners. There's a fantastic short course from Rod Van Meter from KU University on FutureLearn called Understanding Quantum Computers. This course is free, four weeks long, but $69 if you want a verified certificate. While the course is taught in English, there are also subtitles for the videos in Japanese and Thai and the articles and text have downloads and translations in Thai and Japanese as well. For Russian learners, there's an amazing course on Coursera that's very highly rated called Quantové Vyčíslenia. It's also about four weeks long and takes about 14 hours to complete. And remember, for all the Coursera courses, if you can't afford the certificate, you can audit the course or apply for financial aid from Coursera. Don't let that stop you from learning. Now, if you don't feel super ready to take a quantum computing course, you should take a quantum mechanics course and get some background in linear algebra. One of my top recommendations is a quantum mechanics for scientists and engineers from Stanford. It's a nine week course. It covers the basics of quantum mechanics, Schrodinger's equation, operators, the hydrogen atom, and eigenvalues and eigenfunctions. It also has an introductory section on the math background that you need to be successful in quantum mechanics. It's optional, so if you have that math background, you can skip it but this makes the course very self-contained for newcomers to quantum mechanics. The syllabus closely covers the book by the same name, so if you want to get the book and follow along, I'll have that link down below. It's not required, but it has more practice problems and covers more fundamentals of quantum mechanics if you want to go more in depth. There's also a part two to the course. Between these two courses, that contains a full semester long course in quantum mechanics, so that'll prep you for any quantum computing course. If you want another option, there's a Coursera course called Exploring Quantum Physics from the University of Maryland. While it's only a four week course, it's a lot of content. It's not for complete beginners, but if you've taken a quantum mechanics course before, or you already have the background and just need a refresher, this is a good option. Another option for a more advanced course is MIT's Quantum Mechanics, a first course on edX. So there's one more course I wanted to throw in on this topic and one that you've been asking me a lot about, and that's about quantum machine learning. There's a fantastic quantum machine learning course from Peter Wittick at University of Toronto on edX. Unfortunately, Peter Wittick disappeared in September, 2019, when an avalanche hit their camp during an expedition on Mount Trishel. He has positively impacted so many people and was always optimistic about the future of the field and will be really missed by the entire quantum computing community. And his course is still available on edX. Not everyone likes the same courses or videos and that's why I gave you so many options. So try them out and let me know which ones you liked. And subscribe for more videos where I talk about quantum computing, coding, and more fun tech stuff.